The Marrow Thieves, a captivating book in which Cherry de Moline portrays a world nearly destroyed by global warming and climate change. In The Marrow Thieves, residential schools have reopened and the indigenous of North America are being hunted for their bone marrow which carries the only key to obtaining something that everyone else has lost due to climate change, and that is the ability to dream. Now that you know a bit about what's going on in the book, let's take a look at four reasons why you should buy and read The Mirror Thieves as soon as possible. Number 1. The Plot of the Book The story starts off sometime in the year 2050 with the protagonist of the book, Frenchie, witnessing the kidnapping of his brother Mitch after losing both of his parents. Frenchie's brother is abducted by the recruiters who are non-natives wanting to kidnap indigenous people and steal their bone marrow so that they can dream once again. Frenchie manages to escape from the scene and is later found unconscious by a native man named Miguans and his family who are also running away from the recruiters. They take Frenchie north along with them and make him a part of his family. None of the people in Miguans' family are actually related to each other. In fact, they call themselves a family because of the similar hardships they've been through and because they can connect with one another on an emotional level through their personal experiences. Through a series of unfortunate events, the family loses their eldest, Minerva, and their youngest, Rai Rai. Everyone who's left packs their bags and runs for days while grieving and crying. One night, some people in bandanas drag the family out of their tents, and Miguans finds one person in particular to be familiar, and eventually, they turn out to be members of the native council. The family members follow their captors to a cave filled with native people where Frenchie finds his father and the native council's spy knows that Minerva is alive as well as her whereabouts. Little does everyone know, Minerva was the key to saving the indigenous people and preserving their culture. I won't tell you exactly why or how because that's your job to find out by reading the book of course. The next day, the native council organizes a rescue mission which Frenchie is a part of to save Minerva, however she ends up getting shot by one of the recruiter's drivers. In the end, the council begins to gather everything they know about their language and culture and creates a youth council to pass on the knowledge to future generations. As you can probably tell, this type of plot is very unique and has not been experienced in any other novels or books. The themes portrayed by the plot are all very unique including indigenous oppression, humans with nature, identity and pride, and most importantly, the meaning of a real family. This dystopian plot is sure to intrigue and captivate all those who love apocalypse stories. Furthermore, the protagonist in The Mirror Thieves, Frenchie, is very distinct from other stories because the stereotypical or average character's attributes just don't seem to fit him. He's an indigenous boy who has just lost his, lost his entire family and has to survive in a world where things are rapidly changing every single day. He has more responsibilities than your average character and you will definitely not get to meet a more unique protagonist in any other story. Number 2. You can learn about the harsh realities and histories of Canadian residential schools that were originally created in the 1830s. In the novel, residential schools are an archetype that symbolize indigenous oppression in the past as well as in the present. In The Mirror of Thieves, Cherry de Moline effectively allows the reader to comprehend the history of residential schools and indigenous oppression. The author uses bone marrow and dreams as a bridge to contrast the history in an apocalyptic form. In the book itself, residential schools have reopened in the year 2050, but this time not to deprive the indigenous of their language, culture, and land, but instead to rob their bone marrow. In The Marrow Thieves, you can learn about the past history of residential schools and the oppression of indigenous people, which is crucial in terms of Canadian history. If you don't like to read meaningless articles and boring news reports, this is the best way to learn about the history for you. Number 3. The Characters As mentioned before, the protagonist Frenchie has a unique personality, one that you won't find in any other book. But other than the protagonist, there are several other supporting characters that are not similar to ones seen in other works. The only similarity amongst all the characters in The Mirror Thieves is that they are indigenous. Other than that, each one is different from the others, which allows the plot to remain fluid and the reader to stay hooked on. Take Rose for an example, she's an indigenous girl who Frenchie falls in love with near the beginning of the novel. Their attributes are completely opposite from each other and this touch of romance in the book intrigues the reader even more. 
In addition, all of the supporting characters are introduced through something called coming to stories. These coming to stories are motifs appearing constantly throughout the novel and their main purpose is to give background information on the characters including their origin, past experiences, and how they've met the family. They also highlight the traumas each character faced whether it's losing who is most important to them or facing physical abuse. Number 4. You can derive many morals, messages, and ideas from the Meryl Thieves and implement them into your personal life. As I said before, some themes of the novel include humans with nature, identity and pride, and family. In terms of humans with nature, you can learn about the possible consequences and effects of global warming that are portrayed in the Meryl Thieves. With this information, you can implement strategies in your own life to minimize the pollution you create as well as warn others to stop. Additionally, you can learn about identity and pride. When you read The Mural Thieves, you will see how passionate and proud each individual is of their native culture. Upon reading that, like me, you will also grow to acknowledge your culture's followings, teachings, and languages, and pay more attention to them in the real world. And lastly, one great moral you can drive from the novel is the meaning of a real family. In some cases, the people in our family may not be as supportive as our friends or classmates. Through The Mural Thieves, you will realize that a family is not related by blood, instead by love and understanding. Once again, these themes are very unique and I can assure you that a combination of similar themes is nowhere to be found in the literature world other than in The Meryl Thieves. As you can see, The Meryl Thieves is an exceptionally unique book. All the elements from the plot to the themes to the characters, everything is peculiar. In conclusion, you should read this book because of its plot, teachings of residential schools, characters, and morals and messages. I truly recommend buying this book and I guarantee you will enjoy it as much as or even more than I did. Thank you for listening. The videos and images used in this video were retrieved from CBC News, Elevation Pictures, Mongrel Media, PBS, and Pexels.